This is going to be my tutorial for CL Phantom Hive female version. Uh, this is a different setup. I'm sorry if you can't see anything. The place where I normally do it is currently ravaged by my mother's plans of a uh, garage sale. She's got all the garage sale items absolutely everywhere. There. So, we'll have to deal with this. You know, the lighting is kind of crap. Anyway, the first thing I do is I put on my foundation and everything. If you want to see how to do that, I'll put the link here. I do use a stippling brush now to apply it, though, which is different from the video. But, that's the only thing. That's, the result is the same. It's just I'm tired of getting my fingers dirty. Um, so, that link that I showed. And, um, I took some shortcuts today just because I was lazy. So, this isn't exactly how it turns out, but it's close enough. So I'm going to use a little mirror when I can. It's going to be in the way. Um, anyway, the first thing I do is sparkly pink eye shadow. I'm going to use my finger. I will put a primer under it if it's a con, but if it's just photos or whatever, it doesn't really matter to me that much. I'm putting this out over both eyelids, not ridiculously thick layer of it, obviously, because CL actually doesn't wear any eyeshadow. I just do this because I think it adds a little bit of depth to your costume. Nothing major, just enough that if somebody comes close, they can see it. Um. I use a pencil eyeliner for this whenever I use false lashes because I find otherwise it peels off. The lashes peel off with the eyeliner, which glue still will make this come off when you mean to pull them off. But when, when you mean to, I'm talking about the fall off if I use liquid, which is weird. Um, now this part might be a little bit difficult with the mirror, but we're going to try. I basically... I do a thin line, but thicker than I normally would, um, just because the false lashes have to go on top. It's going to turn out really bad using one hand. And if you're tired like me, you do pull a little bit, but not a lot on the lid. Can't do that though using this mirror. It doesn't look too bad. Normally I'd go a little thicker in here just because of the lashes. You want to be able to see it. But today because like I said I lost my lashes so I don't know where they are. So again after I usually after mascara we'll put um my lashes on just because I don't like getting mascara on my lashes. It, to me, it doesn't help blend them together or whatever everybody says. It's actually pretty good. Now, sometimes I end up putting too much of a tail and then you just wipe it off. I do put a little bit of black along the lower. I don't attach it. Put along the lower lashes about halfway. Sometimes I do attach it by accident, because I try to get close. And the general idea, normally your false lashes would fill in any little white bits that you miss. I just, I have no idea where my lashes went after Fan Expo. I thought they were in a makeup bag and I must have left my traumas. Mm -hmm. Now take a white eyeliner pencil. 
Clean the water line. But for some reason this water line always hurts. You need to pull down a little bit on your eye like that, but again, mirror. I mean, this way I always make my eyes water. Inside, usually fine. And you want to get it pretty opaque. Mm. For some reason, my eyes are really watery today. Anyway. And then you will want to draw on the inner corner and up to where the black eyeliner. It's kind of silly at this second, but once you close up your pencil, you know, what it? Clean finger, and on that part just pat it, but on this part you're going to smudge it a little bit. And then you're going to take your white eyeshadow again, and you're going to kind of put it right on top. If it's too bright for you, like it is right now, you kind of play with it until it fades to what you want. And at this point, you can darken up or lighten up your highlight if you feel it's not enough. Um, so, there's that, and then mascara. Uh, you do want to get your lashes really black and really thick and really long unless you're going to be wearing like glasses between um and do do this on both eyes even though see how his one eye is covered because in this case it's not an eye patch and it's just his hair covering the eye people have a habit of taking their wigs and pushing them to the side so that they can see better. I know most of the time my wig is actually pushed to the side so people can see your eye that's supposed to have a contract in it. No big. So that's why I make sure you do both. Now I would apply my false seeds, but again, cross them. Oops. So when I take a blush, a pink blush, whatever kind of pink blush works for you, um, I put it on and when I put it on, I put it on heavier than you would for every day. Especially if you're doing it for photos. If you're doing it for a convention, you might want to go not as heavy on the blush, but if it's for photos, even the way that I'm doing it now rarely shows up in photos. This way, as bright as it looks, you probably aren't even seeing it, and the camera for photos won't see it either. So, um, yeah. I usually do a whole sweep here and a whole sweep here and then extra on the cheek bone apples, whatever you call these things. Yeah. Um, I'm also a highlighter person. 
when it comes to CL. Um, so I get a light, lighter than skin tone or shimmery than skin tone um, powder or something. And I do it right here under the eyes and up to the temple. I don't usually do it along the bridge of my nose because with the oilies it looks so nice. I turned it really shimmery on this side. Must be a shimmer from that eyeshadow. But yeah. Sometimes I do put on a lip gloss, but most of the time I just put on balm because my lips are pretty pink. Uh yeah. It seems really simple to me right at the moment. I'm thinking I'm forgetting something, but looking at it, I'm not forgetting anything. Except for the lashes again, which I don't have. So, pretty cool, I guess. So now you're at the point where you want to put on your wig. So I'm going to put on my wig. And that would explain why it looked weird on my wig. Hey, it was sideways. Mm -hmm. And part it. I actually part it the other way, I think, normally, but I don't know. <laughs> the way I do it is the way I do it. And I get good results in the compliments, so it doesn't matter that I keep this the wrong way. Mm -hmm. These are probably a tangled mess from Fan Expo, but I'll just clip them in anyway. in person on camera um so there's uh, pictures well, now pictures so yeah that was how I did that for this and then I did use like some eye bright on picnic and stuff to make it stand out more but not really that much, you know. And I don't go for contacts because they take me out, so I'm gonna go and take this back off.